Hello YouTube, it's Sam from Sam's Garden Maintenance and in this video today guys, I think it's very timely looking at the weather, I want to uh, give a sort of a, a look ahead into what I think 2023 is going to be like for me as, you know, self-employed, gardener and uh, you know, exterior cleaning business owner and all that. So let's get on with it then. Now, what do I think it's going to be like? It's a tough sort of ask because whatever answer you give, you're sort of, you know, setting it in stone. Um, and I think, you know, if you say it's going to be shit, you know, that could sort of like translate across to you and how you sort of operate. And depending on who you are, you know, or how you think, you know, you could sort of just use that to blame all year round. So if you think it's going to be crap at the start and you're not doing so well, it might not be the economy, it might be you're doing something wrong or, you know, something else has come up other than that. So what I'm going to say is, is I do think it's going to be get harder for us. Um, I can only really speak for me. I think the things that are harder last year are going to be harder this year so I think there's going to be more of a like I think the negative customers or the customers that bang on about the cost of living or cost of living uh, they're going to be worse, they're going to be sort of exaggerated, I think you might see more people uh, looking for a bargain or more people looking for just some sort of cheap, you know, cheap labour. Maybe this will be the year that the job and knocker, you know, sort of uh, rises up. I don't know. Um, as I said, job and knockers, they don't really worry me too much. Uh, we've all dealt with them in the past. They are annoying buggers, but they are what they are for the most part. But maybe, you know, uh, this is the year, you know, the fact that they see an opportunity, you know, cost of living, they might think, oh well, people would appreciate, you know, lawns cut from a fiver, and maybe the people that uh, have always been a bit more susceptible to that, or open to that, maybe this is their year, they'll think, well, you know, what, a grass cut's a grass cut, you know, we'll leave Sam, we'll get, you know, Mr. Such and Such, you doing for you know five pound front and back brilliant and then you know i'll get my grandkid to weed the bed something like that i don't know i'm just sort of uh, postulating shall i say i honestly think that you know if you're a big company and you've got a lot of debt and you're sort of struggling as is i think it might get harder um, just the same as if say you've got a family and you're struggling to make ends meet and you're carrying a bit of debt uh, again I think it's going to get harder and I think that's the sad part I think it doesn't help now that uh, everybody's sort of on the same page I think it's good and bad so I put the prices up some customers have been very understanding uh, because basically they've seen in the paper the fact that everything's gone up you know, they've seen that the food's gone up, the gas has gone up, the heating's gone up. They can understand that, you know, they, they aren't thick. They know that uh, me and my business or other businesses are affected by it the same. We, they can't, you know, they know that we can't keep absorbing it. And when you say I'm going to put price up, yeah, no problem. And I think those customers are good. I think they're always going to be around people like that. Uh, and that's what we want to be getting. But then, still worst as customers on the other end of the spectrum, that they either know what it takes to run a business because they, you know, they aren't unintelligent. They've worked around, you know, they've been doing like accounting jobs or stuff like that. They know what it takes to run a business, but they don't care, or you know, they think, well, looking at my bubble, you know. Uh, which it's only affecting, you know, I still want my gardening done cheap. Or there's other people that are completely fit, completely 
you know, they don't understand what it takes and they think that we're millionaires because we own a business. I do honestly think there's some people out there that think people who own businesses are, are naturally rich. Um, you know, and when we go in the price, they just think we're putting another million pounds on top of the other millions that we already have. And while that isn't the case, I think them customers are the ones that are going to get worse. So basically what I'm saying is, and I think if we've got a good set of customers, um, I think we're going to be okay. I think the worst is that uh, they might have to put back a little bit, but just the same as we're going to have to put back a little bit. At the end of the day, if you've got a damn good customer, and uh, she says to you, right, I'm struggling to sort of make ends meet, you know, or the boiler's gone, or any number of excuses, uh, would you be up for coming, you know, once every three weeks instead? Well, it's up to you what sort of action you take. Me personally, um, you'd explain, you know, that, uh, well, yeah, that's no problem at all, but, you know, if I put you on a maintenance sort of plan, I'm going to have to sort of readjust the price so it can work out for both of us. Uh, you know, or say if she have, have you on an hourly, there's no way they can expect you to do, you know, the same amounts in, the, in less time, basically, or more in the same amount of time. So you're just going after Bingy. And I think people like that, they'll be all right. You know, the worst comes to the worst, is you just sort of have to rejig it. I think that's what's going to happen with the good ones, you know, if they're under the cloche, they're going to sort of, uh, you know, have to change how you come. I don't see any point in, uh, you know, pushing off people like that. But then, I do think there's going to be more people, like the bad customers, I had some last year where, you know, they really sort of thought that would be maintenance and then they'd forever be pushing it to, oh, would you do, uh, you know, once a month, or would you do, uh, for, you know, every six weeks, I even had a couple of people wanting, that was just for grass, and I think people like that are going to get worse, unfortunately, uh, and it is really, it's very, very annoying when people sort of are like that, but honestly, you can't change people like that. It's it's up to us whether we want to work with people like that. And I'll be honest with you, you know, if it is that you've got no other choice, you might have to. But uh, I can't speak on whether costs will go down and stuff. I honestly can't see it. I think some things might budge, but I think uh, the stuff that we touch with our hands is not going to go down. I think if anything it's going to go up so you know tools everything goes up anyway and I think it's just going to go up some people are saying oh well food will come down in price and stuff like that I don't think it will personally I can't speak on heating and electric because I don't pay because I still live at home but uh, the thing is with me my circumstances are different to yours so I still live at home but I'm not naive I run my business and my costs, so my, to get to my costs, you know, what I want to earn per hour, I've worked out as if I was living on my own in a property, because otherwise I'd never leave home, you know, I'd never be able to because, you know, I'd be the gardener who's just on a cheap rate, so I have to sort of charge what it is that I'd be moving out, but the thing is, is that, uh, it's up to us to sort of shape our own destiny. I honestly think, uh, I don't think 2023 is going to be the problem for us. I think it's going to be from now. I think every year is just going to get that little bit harder. I think the squeeze is just going to be getting that little bit tighter every single year. And I hate saying this, but it's saying she sound a bit depressing or, you know, tinfoil hat time. But I do think it is going to get harder. The fact of the matter is, everything's going to go up anyway. And it's up to us to sort of move with the times. You know, we need to keep putting prices up. Uh, we need to sort of get used, people used to paying a sort of premium price. Now, I'm not saying, you know, we should be bumping everything up. 
But I think if we set a precedent, so say if you take on a new customer, you know, put the prices up every year because trust me, it's going to shock them more if you work for them for three years and then suddenly you think, right, I need to, you know, be charging more. You could end up putting their price up quite a lot. And I'm guilty of that. I've had to do that this year. Uh, and I'll tell you that a little bit more in another video. But, uh, as I said, and I'm I'm a bit of a hypocrite by saying this, uh, you know, but I know if you speak to, you know, experts in the field, they'll all advocate for regular price increases, you know, once a year, just to sort of keep people. Uh, there's exceptions to this, you know, there's some things that I do and I've charged for, you know, we've all got, you know, grass pots where we're there. 10 or 15 minutes and we've priced them very well and uh, you know how much more could you put up on that before people start thinking hey oh you know he's taking the piss here so you've just got to sort of do it case by case and uh, you've got to also do it person by person sometimes you know you've got a gut feeling whether people would like it or not and that's basically you know picking off from the, the shit list shall I say at the bottom of the pile but don't keep going for this year keep saving uh, you know and keep growing your business I'll be honest with you there's pros and cons to side hustles listen to the grassroots podcast I urge you because that sort of changed the way I looked at it uh, we've both got differing sort of opinions on this but listen to their podcast about side hustles because it will open your eyes um, and it will sort of give justification for both but basically boils down to if you want a side hustle you've got two options you can either start a side hustle put money into it put time into it and grow that over time or you can put that same amount of money that same amount of effort into growing your existing business and it's up to you which one you think's better me personally uh, I went for the first one where I spent my time and effort pushing a second business because my my honest opinion is that I think the more strings to the bow we have the better for me so I say I'm not going to tell you guys to you know go out and get a button back you know I'm just going to say this is what works for me uh, and so far in January I've done more exterior cleaning and gardening so is that future proofing I think it is if I'm being honest with you I really do so what I'm saying as well is it's up to you to sort of form your own destiny don't listen to me uh, well listen to me but you know don't feel like you have to do what I tell you don't um, you know think you see what other people are earning and think it should translate to you or how much work they've got on should translate to you you know don't look at somebody and say and think oh shit they've said that 2023 is going to be terrible right and, and just posthumously sort of react to it um, you need to sort of make up your own mind and your own sort of views on it and sort of form them opposed to you know forming others models around you if that makes any fucking sense but I think you know what I mean as I say, play it safe, grow your customer base, grow your list of services if you want to. Um, or the other thing you can do is just be careful what you spend, you can save your money, keep it sort of, you know, your money in your pocket, don't get it spread out. So that's it for today, guys. Just a quick video, well, you know, quickish for me. Hopefully it's not too dreary. I know, as I say, it's, it can be quite depressing talking about it. But have a good day. And as usual, keep on gardening, guys.